I got to talk about Snoopy Badass. Ayatollah Marv. Man, these type of dudes, man, bring so much foulness to the game. And at the same time, calling themselves representatives of this little thing of ours, man. But they causing more pain than love. They breaking apart more than they pulling together. That's why me personally, I can't respect them. So recently, I had a video up about uh, Ayatollah Marv when I was out there in Bompton for, for a couple of interviews. I thought I was supposed to interview him. Now, I'm going to break it down a little bit. First and foremost, uh, Big ups to all my family tapping in, all my loved ones, all the kings, queens, and my Zooligans especially. Um, I went out to Bompton. I interviewed Avenue Champ. Well, Young Wood did. Young Holly did. Excuse me, Young Hollywood. But now, he rolled out the red carpet for us. And when I say that, I mean that Pyro love. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my relative, my family, my loved one, uh, uh, two Bs, because uh, he was the one connecting the dots on some of this. Also, my homeboy Slick Rick, he was connecting the dots on this too, although the dots he tried to connect didn't connect at all. And I'm going to tell y'all how this scenario went. First and foremost, let me give it up to God. Make sure we bring him in the building, man, because without him, I have nothing. I am nothing. I think nothing. You know what I'm saying? So thank you, Lord Father, for allowing us to come together in your name. Please help and assist us to find peace and love and tranquility within our cause, Lord Father. Lord Father, please forgive us for all our sins. Rebuke the devil, evil doors, and bad spirits of skin sores, and continue to carry us as only you can, Lord Father. Please assist Everybody and anybody out there with your love and show them that you are for real and that you got our back, Lord Father, in your name. Amen. Now, look here. I talked to my homeboy, Slick Rick. Slick Rick said, listen, man, uh, I'm, I'm messing with Ayatollah Marv. I also got this other dude that says he's from, uh, 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 he's from Lutus Park, but... He was around Skyline when it kind of like came together and threw the P on there. Because originally, we was Eastside Hang Gang. And uh, from Eastside Hang Gang, we turned into Skyline and adapted to P. And dude had information in regards to that. So, of course, I wanted to interview. You know what I'm saying? I want to uh, find out our origins and whatnot and how we came about and everything like that. Although... Um, there is homies that, that disregards dude's testimony. You know what I'm saying? But still, yet, I wanted to hear it. So we talked on the phone. I told him I was from YouTube and shit like that. I got a podcast, and I plan on being out there on such and such a date. And uh, can we get together, you know what I'm saying, and run an interview? And he said, cool, right? Now, when I get there, he switches up on me, right? He comes. But then he gets to talking some shit, talking about, uh, well, how much you going to pay me? I said, well, you know, it ain't like I'm doing big things, bro, but I got about $100 for you. You know what I'm saying? He was like, uh, for my likeliness? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, what the fuck is you talking about, right? He, weirdo, right? Then he was like, I don't want to be on camera. Okay, cool, bro. Let's just do, let's just do your, uh, you know, um, your voice. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool. We can do that. He still shot me down, right? Uh, it's like, bro, what, what, that, man, we talked on the phone, man. You could have told me this on the phone so when I come out here, I wouldn't even be looking forward to this. So this gets me riled up, man. I don't like wasting my time on me. I really don't like wasting my energy, my money. That offends me, man. You know what I'm saying? I take that as very disrespectful, especially if we talked on the phone and I thought we ironed out all wrinkles, right? But once I get there, you know, it's something else. Ah, that's another story. But then my homeboy, Slick Rick, has said he also had Ayatollah Moore. And he was going to slide through. Now, I'm under, the, um, I'm under the impression 
that he had already told, dude, I got a podcast on YouTube. I see him all over YouTube doing interviews with, you know, people all out of California squares from Delaware, giving them the game of our little thing. You know what I'm saying? And that's it, taking away from it and just, you know, talking about mob used to be crib, just sounding crazy as hell, right? As far as on the spectrum of some G shit with, with, with squares, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, I see him do the thing with WAC 100 where he videotaped, I mean, uh, he recorded the phone call and played the phone call on the phone. So was things about him that I already didn't like, you know what I'm saying? And he supposed to be like the oldest pie rule, but he acting like the youngest as far as knowledge, wisdom, you know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, real Gism, you know? So, I'm thinking my homeboy had already told him this shit so that when I get there, we can have an interview and I can kind of like chop it up with him, try to, you know, get an understanding on, on, on his lane and where he's coming from, right? Uh, but I've seen in the interview that he kind of don't like power rules outside of Bompton, you know what I'm saying? So you have them kind of dudes, right? All of them ain't like that. Like Avenue Champ, he's power rule love, you know what I'm saying? Rolled out that red carpet on me, and good looking out for that, homeboy. I really appreciate that. My homeboys appreciate that, homie. That's real rule love, in which that's how the game supposed to be, if you ask me, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but you have them like dude, who be set tripping, you know what I'm saying? Like, they peas is authentic, and you know what I'm saying? Our peas ain't like that. You know what I mean? Like, we ain't catching life for it. Like, we ain't having dead homies for it. And that's just, for me, that's very disrespectful. So I wanted to, you know, like I said, get a little interview, and I thought my homeboy had ran this down to him. So anyway, I'm we at the homeboy pad. The boy pops up. I ain't told him more. He's in the flesh. So I'm I, quite naturally, I'm like, oh, okay, he's just for the interview. Okay, that's what's up. I go, well, now, now mind you, listen, as soon as he gets there, he's in full uh, story mode. He's outside at the time, though. I'm inside the door, inside the house, and, you know, he has the screen door, and I'm looking out, but he on the phone. And the whole time he on the phone, he in story mode, right? I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? He's already in story mode, too. Let me go get the camera. I go outside to the car, get my, my camera stand. When I get back, he's inside the house now, sitting down. And when I walk through the door, he's in story mode, talking about being with Skylines and CYA and all this old kind of shit. And I'm like, hey, hold on, man. Let me uh, press record on this camera. Let me get this footage. No. What do you mean, no? No. I said, blood, I can't. I can't get no, 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 uh, no footage, no interview, no nothing, no. I said, well, look, blood, I got a couple of dollars. No. Like, my money is no good, none of this shit, right? And the way he's saying no, it's just straight up like it's, you know, fuck you. He's not coming with no explanation. He ain't doing nothing. He's no, right? And, and like I said, man, the, the other nigga from Lulu's Portland already did this, right? And no matter of fact, the Lucy Park dude ain't there yet. Uh, I even told him more came first, dude from Lucy Park came after. I'm already like, you know, feeling some type of way about this dude anyway. So when he does this, he don't want to take my money, nothing. And he's in story mode. I'm talking the whole time I was around this guy, he's in story mode. He's talking about Michael Jackson. He's talking about Death Row. He's just in story mode. The fact that I can't get it, yeah, man, it kind of it rubbed me the wrong way off top on me. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, I had already seen some little interviews on YouTube to where it kind of like was letting me feel this dude's character out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And so with that, uh, I flashed. I pulled the camera out. You ain't going to let me get an interview. Well, I'm going to take one out your ass. You know what I'm saying? And I get to filming him, me asking him for an interview and, you know, shit like that. And, uh, of course, it goes left because, like I said before, he's a sex tripper. And uh, he ended up banging Bompton on me, you know what I'm saying? And once he did that, you know, once banging is in the in the building, then the banging is on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, like I said before, plenty of times on, on my podcast... Uh, I'm from Skyline first. Well, no, first I'm a man. So if I got to go up against Skyline for my manhood on me, that's what's going to happen. 
And then after that, I'm from Skyline. And then after that, I'm from Pyro. And then after that, I'm from Bloods. So, so if you, if you know what I'm saying? If you set, if you a Blood, you set tripping on Pyro. Okay, boom. I'm a Pyro. What's happening? You're Pyro, and you set tripping on Skyline. Well, boom. I'm from Skyline. What's happening? If you from Skyline, you set tripping on me being a motherfucking man. But well, fuck Skyline. I'm a man. What's happening? That's how I broke, homie. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, we're going to lock heads like rams, and we're going to get rocking. You know what I mean? So anyway, I put up the video. My homeboy called me and told me to take it down. The same one who told me he was going to help him get the interview and all that. And out of respect for him, I did. And then my other homeboys, as far as the Planet Zoo Entertainment shit, they didn't want me to put it out there either because of whatever, probably because they're running up and down through L.A. Uh, uh, doing business. And it ain't, the video was like this. It's not like that, blood. I love all my loved ones, homie. L.A., Bompton, Watts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, when I say L.A., I meant South Central. Inglewood, Carson, any of that, bro, any, anybody, Sacramento, it does not matter to me, homie. As long as you a real one, not no sucker, not no buster, no talons on your jacket, I love you, homie. I love you. I sincerely love you. I sincerely love your neighborhood, homie, because it's not easy being a part of this little thing of ours, homie. It's a lot. It's a lot of uh, way more losses than wins. And so anybody who's acceptable to that, homie, I love you, homie. And so that's just the difference between me and another dude. Anyway, um, so I just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about that video, man, and how, you know, that dude, and then uh, uh, you got the dude, like I said, uh, um, Snoopy Badass. And I don't, I don't like to call no man out of their name. Only thing, the things I have against Snoopy is this, man. When you can't be involved, like, you know, you, you just, you know, you throw, you throw a hell of a, hell of a wrench in the game, homie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and trying to, uh, uh, you know, trying to regain your status, homie. You want to put other people down and shit like that. And that's what I would have against you. You know what I'm saying? It's not that. I don't know you personally. I've never been around you. I've never been in the pen with you. I really don't know how you get down. But as far as this YouTube thing, you know, um, everything is visual, bro. We see what's happening. We hear what's happening. And, and a lot of times, man, you know what I'm saying? You go out your way to try to throw somebody else up, uh, else up under the bus so you can get from under the bus. But when you just need to concentrate on yourself, homie, forget about trying to slander and put down other people, homie, especially your homeboys. When I say your homeboys, I mean other people that's part of this thing for us, you know? Um, and anybody who's doing that, we, bro, we got to stop that, homie. That makes us all look bad, not just you. You know what I'm saying? Because... The program, nobody is above it. With that being said, I love y'all, man. Um, Five Star General Volume 1, Cali Bang is available in all platforms, uh, Walmart, Amazon. Also, Five Star General Volume 2, Street Marine is available. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and run them numbers up for your boy. You know what I'm saying? And uh, holler back at me, man. Hit me up on IG, Planet Zoo 619. And, uh, um... Facebook on Najee Barbie. With that being said, peace.